Laying up your treasures. Where is your treasure? What do you think about most in a day-to-day -day business of this world? Let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, <clears throat> so let's break it, break it down. Break it down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I knew you were going to do it. All right, so Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, is really getting to the heart of the matter. Spiritual outlook on life. This is what I said, but this is really what I meant. Because... It goes deeper than the physical. It goes way deeper than the mental and the, and the uh, physical and the emotional. <clears throat> it's spiritual. His kingdom is spiritual. And people didn't understand that because remember he was still preaching in the Old Testament. They didn't understand that until the Holy Spirit came, until each of them presented themselves uh, you know, as faithful to Jesus Christ. And some of them didn't even realize it until afterward. Thomas, I mean, Dying Thomas was like, okay, I'm not believing unless I put my hands in your side and your, your holes in your hand. And uh, then he said, blessed are the people who don't even see and yet have faith in me. So if we're talking about spiritual, if we're talking about direction of our mind in a spiritual sense, does it make sense to look for a kingdom here? Does it make sense to look for physical things here to appease us? Does it make sense to look at physical things pointing towards prophecy or other things? When he was specifically saying this is a spiritual kingdom, a spiritual outlook. And so when he says this about laying up your treasures, he, he went from the physical, where people can steal and rust can destroy, to this. He says, Matthew chapter 6, 20 through 21 says this, But lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, spiritual, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not, do not break in and steal. Spiritual. They can't steal your salvation away. They can't destroy you by rust or death because you're spiritual no matter what this physical body does we are a spiritual being in jesus christ so our no matter what you do with the flesh no matter what you say to us no matter what you do to us no matter what political schemes people are against us no matter what physical kingdom is against us no matter physical kingdom that we think that things are progressing in the future it doesn't matter because not a spirit, it's not a physical kingdom. It's a spiritual kingdom. And he says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. My treasure is not here on earth. My treasure is not in my government or in the things that I have or the money in my pocket. My treasure is not in my children. My treasure is not in my wife. My treasure is not in anything or any country or any nation or anywhere in the Middle West. In Middle West. <laughs> Middle East. Nowhere is the kingdom on earth. Nowhere. Never will be. Because it's a spiritual kingdom. Nobody can destroy it. Nobody can take it away. Nobody can do anything to it. And yet, what do we always focus on? Physical, 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 physical. I mean, just look at the politics around us today. It's all about physical. As Christians, we need to have a spiritual mindset, a spiritual outlook, a spiritual way of storing up our treasure in Jesus Christ. He is our treasure. He is our reward. He is our everything. I don't even care if I get heaven. I just have Jesus as the reward. Now, heaven is a bonus, but I don't, I'm not a Christian because of heaven. I'm a Christian because Jesus Christ died for me and he rose from the grave and he is my treasure. No matter what treasure I get here on earth or what I get in heaven, he is our treasure. I mean, I need to have that outlook. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Wednesday. I encourage you to have a spiritual outlook, not a physical one. Love you, bye. I wasn't quite sure what your point was. Can you repeat your point one more time, please? Thanks, Gary.